Welcome back, everybody. It's great to be with you. Uh, it's been a wonderful week. Uh, a little bit of rain today, and you can see I'm at the uh, Rita Lewis Memorial Garden. I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, to give you a little update on the uh, COVID situation, uh, it continues to go in a very good direction. So I'm just so grateful to everybody for everything you've done to, to help make that possible. Right now, I think we only have three positive cases. Uh, two of them are commuters. Uh, one's an ADP student, one's a traditional student, and the other was a residential student, and all three are isolating off campus. Uh, and remarkably, on the quarantine side, we only have, we're down to four students quarantining actually on campus. I think there's another number, maybe it's 10 or 15, something in that range off campus. Uh, but that number is dropping off each day, and so it's just, it's just great to see that happening. And, I just want to thank everybody again. It, it doesn't happen without everybody, you know, working to make it happen. I, I know it's a, to say inconvenience, an understatement with the masks and the distancing and so forth, but I'm just so grateful to everybody for all that you've done to, uh, to get those numbers where they are. But now we've got to keep going. We can't assume now that it's all over. It's not. I think the numbers are down because we're all doing the right things. So let's keep it going, and uh, I'm hopeful that it's only going to get better and better from here. I think by the spring, it, it's going to be 100% better than what we have right now. So, but again, thanks for everything you've done in that regard. Uh, some of the other things, temporary housing, uh, the famous temporary housing that keeps being temperate and we're not, we're not in it yet. The good news is today, actually, they're here now, they're doing the actual final inspections. So that means if we pass them, which I'm hopeful we will, uh, we're going to get the, the final approval to actually be able to have the occupancy uh, you know, permit that you, that you actually need. I'm hoping we're going to get that early in the week, and so we should be able to move in soon. I'll let you know. I mean, Tom McAllister will follow up with everybody and let you know the date that we can actually schedule a, a move in time. Uh, the parking lot uh, is also uh, in progress. You, if you've been out to it, you'll see that we've already lined it. There's already markers out. Uh, this is the parking lot between the Alumni House and the Science Building. And it's, uh, that will start as soon as the temporary is finished and we got that final permit, they'll move over and they'll start the, the parking area, which I'm looking forward to as well, because the, certainly the lot between the Science Building and Alumni House absolutely needs to be repaved, to say the least. Um, new Residence Hall is about where I told you before. I had been saying end of October. It could be even into the first week of November. I, it, you know, it's one of these things where we'll just have to wait and see. Windows had come in late. They're all in now, but they had come in late, and so that kind of pushed us back a little bit. It is raining today, so I don't know if that, you know, rain can push things back a little bit too. So we're moving along with it. As soon as we can get in there, uh, we're going to be getting everybody moved into the new residence hall as soon as we can, and I'm looking forward to uh, that day. Uh, other, you know, just good news, the uh, Rita Lewis Memorial Garden, we had our dedication yesterday, and uh, despite COVID and the physical distancing and so forth, we still had a great turnout. A lot of people were able to come out in the middle of the afternoon. I know that's not everybody could do that, but a lot of people came out because they had such, you know, great fond memories of Rita Lewis. Uh, her family was here, and I, they were really moved and touched. It was very emotional for them, and they really appreciated it, and it was just great to see them. Uh, the science labs are now complete, the windows are done, everything's, the glass is done, everything's done. We were in them last night actually. Uh, uh, George and Susan Horner were here who were the generous donors that made that all possible. Uh, we took them through and they loved it. They thought it just it looked awesome and, and it is. Uh, it's just an amazing facility that we have and we're going to continue to build on that. We're going to be looking at other things like the auditorium and other areas to see how we can improve those as time goes on here. Uh, the uh, other is the lights. We also went out to the lights at the alumni field last night for the men's soccer game. It is awesome. If you haven't been out to see a game at night, you got to go out. It just, it, it was artistic. Uh, just the trees in the back, the way the field is lit. I mean, it's, it's just pitch black around the entire field and the field is like lit up as bright as day. And uh, John Keating and all the coaches and staff just did a wonderful job. They created this uh, international friendly match. Apparently, Two of the guys are from Norway, and there's two guys from Sweden, and so they kind of created a, a Norway-Sweden competition. And they had this going all week, and I heard it was pretty good, like even in the residence halls, there was kind of like this, you know, going back and forth. And uh, so last night, Norway won. Uh, the score was three to one, and uh, John had a trophy. I mean, they were out there hoisting up the trophy. So, you know, it just brings me the greatest joy to know that we're doing this uh, in the midst of all that's going on, and everybody that's canceling and not doing anything, we're all out there. We're practicing, we're playing, we're playing at a high level. The competition was great. As a matter of fact, I would dare to say that we, we probably have affected the Power Five conferences. Uh, as you may know now, all of five Power Five conferences 
are back playing. Um, I'm sure they were watching some of our streaming video and said, yes, you can do this. Uh, and they're back playing, and so I'm just excited about that. Uh, the theater program, I went the other night to uh, Tally's Folly, and it was just great. Uh, you know, the, the, the ability of, of our students in acting is just phenomenal to me. And, you know, 90 minutes of just sheer dialogue it was just remarkable. Acting was just great. I'd highly recommend it to you. Remember, you can go, you got to register to, you know, online to get your ticket, but I would highly recommend if you can go to it that you do. Um, enrollment is up. I know it's very early, uh, but I'm talking about enrollment now for next fall. Uh, believe it or not, we're something like 1,300% ahead of last year at this time. Uh, I'd love if we stayed at 1,300%, but my point is we're ahead at this stage, and that's, that's really good news given that last year was an all-time record for us. And uh, David Williams, some of you may know Dr. David Williams, uh, who is the uh, Associate Provost uh, of Academic Affairs, uh, had his appendix taken out. It was kind of an emergency uh, the other night. He's doing very well, but I just thought you'd want to know that. Keep him in your prayers, maybe send him a nice note. Um, and I'd also like to just acknowledge uh, our students. Uh, you, you, again, you bring me great joy. Uh, I think in my whole time here, I've never received so many thank you notes from students. I, I probably have up to like 50 thank you notes at this point. And not just thanking me, thanking the staff, the faculty. Just what, it, what impressed me is your appreciation and recognition awareness that everybody has really gone all out to make this possible for us to be here. Uh, and and I, I, it means a lot to me that you saw that, you recognized it, and you acknowledged that. And so I've shared those with everybody so they would know how appreciative yet you are. So thank you for doing that. That means a lot. You know, sometimes in life we don't know the value of sending out a thank you note or a card to someone, but it really does mean a lot to people. I just thought I'd share that with you. Uh, and then finally, we have homecoming coming up. Uh, can't believe it's going to be homecoming. Uh, I, I know I'll have another one of these maybe next Friday, but just so you can prepare for it, uh, we have a lot of events. We have a lot of games. I think there's a double header and baseball scheduled for the third. Uh, so I, I encourage you to go to the website, sign up for the events, uh, get, get the games on your schedule. Uh, the streaming has just been so well done. So I, I think you're going to really enjoy it and I encourage you to participate in it. And again, just thanks for everything you're doing to make this work. I think, you know, again, not lacking humility. I think we're showing the world that this can be done and it can be done well. So thanks for everything you're doing. I look forward to seeing you around. Take care and God bless.